Nabathon is an indigenous term which means happy place and the school has existed since 1963 to cater for students who have a vision impairment. Technology plays an extremely important role in getting kids um, to be able to use communication systems to control their environment, to be able to engage with the world around them. Some of our kids have really limited movements and so being able to use a keyboard or sign or motor speech is really tricky for them. So sometimes technology is one way that they can get their thoughts and ideas and feelings across. We use a range of standard tech equipment in the school, like the desktop computers, the laptops, iPads, interactive panels, but we also use a range of really adaptive technology as well that gives our students with vision impairments and uh, multiple uh, physical impairments access to equipment that they couldn't have otherwise. We use uh, screen readers and uh, programs that will magnify text on a screen. We also use uh, adaptive switches which give our students with very limited movement the ability to operate a desktop computer with just button presses. So with um, different children, each child has an individualised communication system and that's come about through talking with their families, talking with a student themselves, talking with their private providers, talking with a school team and then trialling lots and lots of different ways um, to expand their communication. So some students are on low-tech pod communication books where we read out their um, choices and they can say yes and no using their bodies to tell us what they would like to communicate and then we transfer that into a high-tech system on the computer or on the iPad where they can use adaptive technology to communicate. And also the types of things that they are picking up, we wouldn't know what they're picking up if they couldn't express them using their communication, either low-tech or high-tech. And so every day we're working on, what have you got to tell us, what are you going to say, how are you going to say it and setting the students up for for success in that. A switch is a little button with a, it can be corded or we can also have blue toe switches and it sends a message through into the computer and you have to have a switch interface so you can't plug it straight into the computer and then it goes through and you can set up controls where, on what it's going to control on the computer. So I usually set it up for space and enter and that helps move, move, choose but you can set it up to whatever key you want it to control. You generally start with cause and effect that you know if you press something something happens and that would take about half an hour and half an hour is that it in your life. You don't need very much time to know that if I press a button something will happen. And so the next stage along from that is making something happen with two switches. I have two switches and they do two different things and so if I press one it's going to do this action, if I press another one it's going to do this action. So you're working towards making sure that you can do two switches doing two different functions and you just practice that along a different progression. So the ultimate goal of using switching for communication and for learning and for leisure and for curriculum is to be able to say what you want to say, when you want to say it, how you want to say it, who you want to say it to. So making our students have a multimodal way, whether it's through their low tech or through their ICT um, and their switching to communicate and to control their environments and have agency in their own lives. It gives them a voice. It gives them control over the world in a much easier way than if they didn't have it in place. It gives them the ability to control their environment and to communicate to the people around them. I think um, the student confidence in that they are a voice that is worth being heard, that they have agency and that they have control over what's happening in their lives. They can make good choices, they can express that they really don't want to go bowling again. They can tell us what foods they like, they can tell us about their emotions, they can tell us which staff member they want to interact with, um, they can tell us if they're having a bad day. And just all those really 
important social things that make you into a great learner at school.